Let's start with the front page of the Telegraph, Jonathan. Yeah, so strikes will see 15,000 operations cancelled. So the first national walkout of its kind will mean that patients will suffer prolonged wait for surgery as the emergency services struggle. So up to 15,000 operations are set to be cancelled next week because of the first ever national strike by nurses. So this is causing a lot of disruptions and hospitals have been told to reschedule appointments as soon as possible. However, the 7.2 million people on waiting lists in England include more than 400,000 who have already waited a year. Now, after the lockdowns, after all all the delays to people's surgeries and people postponing health checks, and everything like that. This does kind of feel like it comes at a bit of a brutal time. I mean, I can understand why they're striking, but people have had to wait so long for operations and now they're going to have to wait longest. Yeah. So what do you want for Christmas? Like, not your kidneys to be fixed. Exactly. It's not, it's not very nice. Nick, what would you take on that? Well, it's even worse than things like kidneys, Leo, because uh, the question is, will anyone actually come if you call the ambulance? So there's this thing where um, ambulances may only be sent out if there's an immediate risk to life. But that doesn't include... Isn't that why people call an ambulance? Right, right. But that doesn't include things like heart attacks and strokes. What? So that's, that's, what? They're like on the B list. Yeah, it's in the story, Jonathan. They're, that's like on the B list. That's like, you know, that's like a, lo- like a low-level problem now in this new world. And they've asked the police to man the ambulances, and they're saying we can't. Right. You know, we're asking the military to step in and do things. We're asking the police. Everyone's yeah. having to do a different job with well, yeah, all the these The military strikes. used to driving tanks, so they're just going to try and drive over cars. It's going to be an absolute... Get, nice some, get some angry drill sergeant giving you a sponge bath. Yeah. We're yeah. asking the military to work on trains and the border. Money for that. We're asking the police to work on ambulances. The whole, the whole country's falling apart, Leo. It says here health officials said patients should still call 999 if they're concerned that life is at risk, but no one will answer. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's yeah. the problem. But you can have a chat to somebody as you slowly <laughs> fade away. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's absolutely shocking. And, yeah, I mean, of course, the military is not happy about coming in. They've been asked. Rishi Sunat says it's unreasonable and unaffordable. And it's just an absolute nightmare, basically. It's, it's, people are calling it the winter of disconnect, and I think that's what we have. Right. And who knows how much of it is due to lockdowns. The, the economy is a disaster in general. The NHS doesn't work at the best of times. Yeah. So, it's, I mean, people are talking about a winter crisis for the N- NHS. Yeah. But the papers have been running that story for about 10 years. Well, the least. thing is, I mean, the thing is... But papers, it's even worse now. Every, every year, papers run this story about a winter crisis for the NHS. And, uh, you know, usually the NHS can sort of scrape together and just, just pull through. The thing is, because we've come out of lockdown, we've got... Uh, everybody's immunity's gone. So we're seeing flu, uh, flu rates and, and infection rates yeah. are shooting through the roof. Uh, and also, you know, there's so much burnout in the NHS and unfilled posts. So this time, it looks like they were already at burnout before going into the winter. This time, it looks like it could be really so serious. all that yeah. clapping I gave them did nothing. Did nothing. Did nothing. Waste of good skin on my hands. Oh, well. Oh, well.